So someone wanted to know what my approach is for ophthalmologic genetic disorders in terms of testing. And we can't do all of ophthalmic genetics, but we can do, what do you do with the test result? So of course, the structure is always the same. You have symptom and sign. Symptom is what the patient says. Sign is what we see. That correlates with the history and the exam. So this together characterizes the phenotype. So we want to first do a in vivo, in vivo phenotypic classification of whatever the patient said and whatever the patient what we saw on the patient's examination. Based on the phenotype, we're going to look in the literature and see if other people with this phenotype, especially if they have a family history of the same phenotype, who looks like this person and his family members. So that is requires you to know something or at least look it up. Then you've got candidate genes that you can choose from based on this phenotypic pr presentation. That candidate gene pool, if it's very characteristic phenotype, you can just do the target gene. Oh, that looks like labor hereditary optic neuropathy. That looks like Stargardt disease. Then we just go straight for that gene. If, however, there's overlap in the phenotypic expression or variability in the expression, intrafamilial or inter-affected uh, individuals or families, then you have to do a panel of genes to cover that phenotype. So, for example, optic atrophy, it's not very specific. And therefore, it's hard to look at an optic nerve and say, oh, that's labor hereditary optic neuropathy or that's OPA1. And disorders where there's a final common pathway like retinal degeneration and bone spicules and retinitis pigmentosa. You cannot look at people's RP and say, oh, that's that gene, because there are literally hundreds of genes that look exactly like that. And so that's where the panel comes in. If, however, you get a negative on the target or the panel, then you can do whole exome sequencing. The whole exome only looks at the coding sequences. And if that fails and you still think it's genetic, either because of a strong family history or the phenotypic expression, then you can do whole genomic sequencing. That's the whole genome. We include exon and intron because there are intronic variants, including deep intronic variants that can manifest with that phenotype, even though that's not a coding sequence. So my approach to genetic testing, talk to the patient, examine the patient, look at the family, get the family history, look in the literature, identify the phenotype, try and match the phenotype to candidate genes, do a target, a panel, but if you think it's genetic, advance to whole exome or whole genome. And in another video, you can watch what, you're, what you do with this information. But this is just identifying pathogenic variants. So this little video is only about ophthalmic genetic disorders with known pathogenic mutations. You can watch the other video on what to do with variants of uncertain significance.